All right, everybody. This video is the answer sheet to Sudoku Primer video number 118. Video 118 was a pop quiz. And what I do in a pop quiz is I just fill in numbers and don't explain why I place each number where I place it. So this is the answer sheet to that video, to the previous video. Here I'll fill in the numbers in the same order I filled them in in the uh, pop quiz and I'll explain why each number went, um, was why I was able to place each number where I did. Now you notice uh, down here on the bottom we've got a this website sudokuprimer.com uh, you can go there for Sudoku techniques. You can uh, download blank Sudoku grids. You can uh, um, see a video index of a lot of the videos on this channel and uh, quite a few other things about Sudoku. So stop by the, that uh, website and check it out sometime. I'm going to talk about the uh, uh, ambiguity rule in this in this video and uh, there's an explanation about the about unique rectangles or the ambiguity rule on uh, on that website also well, let me get started um, these first few are pretty straightforward That one should be very obvious. Okay. That one's pretty much the same. It's pretty easy to see. There's a two here, a two here, and a two here. This one isn't quite as obvious. We've got a two here and a 2 here, so one of these has to be a 2. We've got a 2 here and a 2 here, so one of these has to be a 2. And si But since we have ghost 2's here, that 2 has to go there. It can't go there. Okay. Again, another one that's pretty obvious. We've got 3's there and a 3 there. and I place a 4 there. That's because there's a 4 here and a 4 here already. So these are ghost 4's, these two here. You've got a 4 there, ghost 4 is there, so that's a 4. That 4 was placed there because if you look at this row, there's already a 4 in that column, a 4 in that column, and a 4 in that column. So that's the only place a 4 can go in that row. Got a 7 there because we've got 7 and 7. So 7 can fit in either of these two cells. But right here we have 7s um, also. If you'll notice, we've got a 2, two, seven, two and 7 in this row and a 2 and 7 in this column. So that means these are two 7 twins right here. I talked about the, two, the ghost 2s before. We also have 7s there. So that 7 has to go there. Then the 8 goes in this location because of these two 7 twins, and we've got an 8 in this column already. And then from that previous 8 placement, we see that there's an 8 there, an 8 there, an 8 there, and an 8 there already. So that's an 8. Then we place a 5 here, and I think I mentioned it already, but um, I'm placing these numbers in the same order as I did in the pop quiz. Okay, this 5 goes here because we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9 missing in this column. 5, 6, 8, and 9 missing in this column, and we've got a 6 here, and an 8 here, and a 9 here in this row. 
So we know that has to be a 5. Another way we could have done that is there are only two numbers missing here, a 1 and a 5, and we had a 1 here already. We've got a 4 right there because we've got a 4 there and a 4 there and a 4 here. And then I place a 6 right here in this box. Now, how did I get that 6? This, this is probably the trickiest placement in this entire puzzle. So let's look at that. First of all, we got 3, 4, 3 and 4 here in this, in this row already. We've got a 3 and a 4 in this column, so we know these are 3, 4 twins. Okay. So we know these are 6, 8 twins right there. All right, but still, how do we know that's a 6? We have 6, 8, and 9 missing here, as I mentioned a minute ago. The 5 got placed, but these, all three of those could be 6, 8, or 9. Well, there's a 9 here, so this could be 6, 8. This could be 6, 8, 9, 6, 8, 9. Okay, so I placed the 6 here already. Uh, but if I hadn't placed this 6 here, we, don't, we still don't know if these are 8, 9 twins. Um, but we'll find out here in a minute. Okay, so we've got 3, 4 twins right here. If we look at this box right here, we've got 1's here. So one of these has to be a 1, because we've got a 1 in this column already. So we've got 1's here. And uh, then we've got a 2 here. We got a three here and here, so we know there are ghost threes here, so one of these has to be a three. So, so far in this box, all we know is one of these has to be a one and one of these has to be a three. Okay, now if we use um, the unique rectangle rule or the ambiguity rule, since we have three, four twins here already, and we know one of these is a three, we know the other one can't be a three. We've got a four here already, so the only place we can place a four is here. I think I said that a little bit wrong. Since we placed threes here already, or we know that one of these is a three, and we got three, four twins here, we know that these can't be three fours, three, four twins or it would be ambiguous. And look at, go down, go to sudokuprimer.com for more information about that, about the ambiguity rule or uh, unique rectangles. Okay, so we know one of these can't be a four. There's a four here, so one of these, neither of these can be a four. So we know the four has to go here. So now we know we've got one four twins here. We've got three four twins there, one four twins here. We've got a three here, but we don't know what the other number is yet. And so let's see what we have left. And let's go through the numbers here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember this number's not here yet. Seven. And the 8 can go here. One of these is an 8. Because an 8 can't go here because of this 8. It can't go here because there are 1, 4 twins here. So we know one of these two numbers is an 8. Okay. The other one could be a 6 or a 9. Now we've got a 9 here. And we've got a wall in this box. So we know a 9 has to be in one of these two cells. So therefore... A 9 has to go here. So since we have the 1, 4 twins here, we know that one of these has to be an 8. And because of this 9 and these ghost 9s here, we know the other number has to be 9. So these are 8, 9 twins. And so the 6 has to be one of these. So we have 3, 6 twins there. So therefore, that is a 6. I hope that made sense. It was a little bit tricky, but... Uh, um, I think it should make sense to you. 
Now, since we placed the 6 there, we can place the 8 here, because we've got three four twins here still. Okay. All right, and now we can put the 6 in this box, because we know the 6 can't be in this bottom row. And then we've only got one number left in this row. That's a 5 right there. Now we also know this is a 5, and how do we know that? Because we remember we have two 7 twins here. Then we place a 6 here in box 2, and how do we know that's a 6? Well, let's see, we got three 6 twins here. So, one of these has to be a 6, but if we is we got a 6 here, we got ghost 6s here, so we know one of these has to be a 6, and actually, this is a 6 right here, because we got a 6 there, but we place that later. But, so we got ghost 6s here, ghost 6s here, and a 6 actually goes there. Okay, that's how we got that six. Now we place a, a five in box five, and the way we got that is we've only got three numbers missing in this row right here. One, five, nine. One, five, and nine. We've got a 1 and a 9 in this column already, so we know that's a 5. Now we've only got 1 and 9 left. So, let's see. We place a 1 here because we've got a 9 there already, and therefore that's a 9. Now we know this is a 1 because of these 1s. place a 7 in box 1 right there and that's because let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 well we've actually got a 7 here we could have placed a 7 there and then we'd know that's a 7 because we got 7s there but we haven't placed that 7 yet And then we've got three numbers missing here, so I placed the one there. That's because we've got a one and a one there. We place a nine there. One, nine, and eight are what's missing here. We've got an eight there, so we know that's a nine. And I put the eight there. Now we know this is a nine because of these two nines. Yeah, once in a while, I'll do something like, uh, I put this 7 here, because I saw that's a 7, but I didn't, I could have filled these four sevens in there, but I didn't do it yet, so I'm just going to follow this the way the, the pop quiz went. Okay, now we've got these 8, 9 twins here. If you remember, we've got 8, 9 twins, 3, 6 twins, and 1, 4 twins. And since I placed a 9 there, I can place these 8 and 9 right there. Okay. Okay, and then I put a 4 in box 1. Let's see. How did I get that? Let's look at this column here. One, two, three, four. 7, 8, 4, 7, and 8 were missing here. Um, we got a 7 there and an 8 there, so we knew that was a 4. And then we place the, let's see, 
We've also got a six here, six there, so we know one of these is a six. And we've got an eight here and an eight here, so we know one of these is an eight, so we know that's a five. Then uh, <clears throat> then we place a nine here. That's pretty straightforward, pretty obvious, because got a nine there already. And then we fill in the rest of these. We'll put a five there because there's a five here and a five here already. And then a three goes right here. Because of that two, there's it's five through two missing. Um, put the five in, then the three because of that two, and then the two is the only number left. Okay, and then I came down here and put the four and seven in this box. I could have done that earlier, but I didn't. Sometimes when I'm doing these, I'm I'm looking for um, difficult situations, and I overlook simple things like this 4-7 that I could have placed earlier. Okay. And then place a 6 there in box 5. What do we have missing here in this row? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, 8, 9. And we have an 8 and a 9 there, so we know that's a 6. And now we've got eight and nine missing here and we can fill those in because we got nine there and then uh, five and six are left here so there's a five there so I placed a six there and a five there and now we have three six twins that we knew about there's a six there so we I placed the three there and the six there. And then we've got the three four twins here. And there's a three here, so we know that's a four. And that's a three. Then we had the one four twins in box three here. And there's a four here, so we know that's a one and that's a four. Okay, and then we're getting getting close to finishing. Okay, then we did a, we have 7, 3, and 9 missing here, and there's a 3 there and a 9 there, so we know that's a 7. There's a 9 here, so we know that's a 3, and the 9 is the only one left over. Then we've got the two 7 twins that we saw early on in the puzzle, right at the beginning, and, uh, we know there's a 2 here in this column, so we placed a 7 there and a 2 there. And then uh, the only thing left was a 6, 8 twins here, and there's a 6 there. So we placed an 8 there and a 6 there. And that's it. So that's how I solved uh, video 118. Um, and so that's the answer sheet to video 118. Well, I enjoyed uh, explaining that one to you. I hope that made sense. And be sure and look at SudokuPrimer.com for some of those more in elaborate techniques and uh, lots of Sudoku stuff out there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.